Giving it all we got Giving it all we can Giving it all we got oh. Climbing up to the top of the world No fear, we're gonna make it Everything we want is ours That's my neighbor's property over there. I was just looking at. Kept hearing a lot of, lot of birds this morning over there screaming at each other for an extended period of time. Kind of wondering something going on. I did see a big old lizard in the on the road over here. But I couldn't, I didn't have a camera, I didn't stop to catch him. I didn't have any tools. I could have, I could have probably caught him, last him or something if I had something in there. Reminds me to maybe when I travel in my truck or I'm even on the motorbike, have a little bag of tricks, you know. Net, knife, sling, whatever. But uh today my wife woke me up saying, hey man, the pump ain't pumping and uh, so I had to come out and check it out my where was it the uh, at the bottom of the pump here all the way at the bottom there's a little filter I think I have one in here I don't want to. Oh. yeah so I have this at the bottom and uh, it's got a spring and sometimes it goes bad well, my wife seems to think it goes bad a lot which you know it could be uh, I don't know if you can see that in there but what happens or what happens is that there's a little black cap on the on this end of that spring and that black cap is what I don't know if I can get this out. <laughs> anyway, this this black cap on the end of this um, comes off, breaks off, or pops off, or whatever. But that black cap goes off. The spring starts to come up more and extend more, which doesn't allow for the proper action of the pump of this yeah and people often they'll take the pump here like this and they'll go up and they'll pull it up and down and up and down and let it suck in the water like that you know to get the get the action going and whilst that may work you keep doing that you're gonna knock that black thing off the pump off the or off the end for sure so, I also cut the ends off of this piece of wood that I had shellacked to use it for a, um, you know, like when you're drinking and you got that beat. Yeah. One of my many musical instruments I'll probably make. Uh, but today what I did was also this morning I um, I went and dug up some of the dirt or clay if you will in my drill right in front of me and uh, this is my paint mixer but I put the clay 
the dirt in this bucket right here. And I don't see that. There you go. I put it in here and then filled up with water. And I was mixing it. I just put this in there. I'll mix this a little bit. fighting with my battery on this thing anyway mix it up and I'm gonna you know try my hand at the backyard ceramic program so with that I'm gonna let this settle a little bit but I gotta go find like a cheesecloth or I could use a screen but that, I'm gonna have to look at that blue screen. Cheat cloth would be better, but I'll use a blue screen. I'll pour all this stuff through the blue screen into another bucket uh, so I can get the majority of all the heavy stuff out of there. And then just whatever I pour it into, I'll just let that sit. And eventually all this dark colored mud will appear or it'll be all clear probably on the top and then just have the, the mud or what is clay on the bottom yeah although ideally I would nice if nice if I had another five gallon bucket but I don't I have these buckets but I've used these for cement that one's cracked you know what I guess I should I don't know where I can buy. I could probably buy a five gallon bucket at the everything store. Yeah. Maybe I should do that. Among other things that I'm doing. But you know. Kind of a kind of a, another lazy day here on uh, life on the farm. My retired life. And uh Yeah, let's mix it up again when I get back there. There's now these are. How's this one? Oh, might work. Best to have a real clean one though. What happens is if you, you know, if you're just gonna air dry it. Then it's not a problem. I mean, if I mean, if you if you're gonna dry it and then leave it like that and use it like that, that'd be fine. But if you're gonna dry it, then you're gonna bake it. Then you're gonna need to. Um, then you're gonna need to. Uh, you know, make sure that there's not one little big old chunk of something like cement or something in there that's gonna heat up and then <laughs> pop out the side or break your whole piece. So it's best to have it clean. I think I'm gonna, I swear I bought a whole bunch of cheesecloth for that purpose, or maybe for the purpose of putting through the filter of the water. But anyway, I'm gonna have to go see about that. Where's my wallet. What's in my wallet? realized after when I actually when I got to the store I went to the everything store to get a you know five gallon bucket which they had all kinds of buckets but they didn't have a five gallon bucket and there was one that I wanted and then I realized wait a minute because at that everything store I actually bought this bucket which is the water bucket I'm using to you know to spray it clean but 
now that I remembered that, I said, dude, this is a perfectly clean bucket. I mean, aside from being dirty right now. But I can probably just empty that bucket. <laughs> Get over here. Yeah. I mean, it's got a little orange in it from the water, but that's uh, that's to be expected. And I ain't got to worry about that. So I'm gonna use this bucket, which would be really good, easier for me to scoop out the cleanest of the clay. Uh, you know, that settles in there. This whole process will it'll take probably a week to make this video. I did, while I was at the everything store, I did buy a swath of cheesecloth. Hopefully this isn't so small that stuff doesn't go through it. But I think it should. I mean, water will go through it. So, if water goes through it, that water will bring with it clay. And so, the idea is to pour that into here. Hey, Craig. Oh, we got what we got here. We got a big, pretty big piece, I think. Yeah. A little magic. Water, well, see it? No, you don't. There you see it? No, you don't. Oh, well, it's kind of cool. It's, it has these little grips on the sides. That maybe I could. No, well, that's for the lid. I was gonna say maybe that would pinch the cloth. So I just need to get like a little rope, piece of rope. Turn on my lights again. And, uh, where am I getting that? This one here. This is, this might work. It's kind of fat. I wish it was smaller, but hey, man. This would probably work. Yeah. I just have to go slow because. You know, let me turn that up. see how it holds up I don't want it to see I'm gonna, I don't know if you can see it but that's already clear on the on the little bit of top over there but I'm gonna mix it up again get it going Feel that clay down at the bottom. I want to. I'm to try and make as much of it come up as I can into the mix. Of course, the battery on this thing.
glad I'm not a septic cleaner. All right, well, let's see a little bit of it. Oh my God, oh, you know what? That might be kind of cumbersome. This might be better. Yep, it's definitely going through. Yeah, trying to get the right angle on this thing. I don't know what you think, think that's too fine of a filter. Wow, you can see all the stuff that was in the clay. Really fine parts. Yeah. I don't know if I got my angles all right on that for the camera, but looks good. Well, this I can just junk out. I'll wash this out later, maybe. Well, that should be some pretty clear, fine clay when it dries. So, actually I think I need to move it because we got trees over here. Actually, you know, I could put the cloth back on it. Yeah, that's what I'll do. <laughs> Leaves and everything fall over here, but I don't think it's gonna rain. This is actually another filter right here that I'm washing this out in. This is fine because it's basically sand that I'm washing or dirt that I'm washing out, so it'll probably back this part of the filter. <laughs> Let's get that out of there.
Yeah. So put this back over there. Maybe again tie it up on the sides. Or know what? Wait a minute. Is that long enough? I could tie this. Well, I could probably tie it on itself. Right? Yeah. Oh, can. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, let's sleep over here. Oh. That should be fine. Uh, protect it from any of the leaves or bird thing or whatever falls on there so it doesn't get inside there. And then, uh, well, you saw how it looks. It looks full on like clay water or something. I'll come back later today, see how clear it is. Or see how much clear water there is because it should settle I mean it's already settling because it's been sitting in there so that'll work hopefully <laughs> although I do need to clean this guy over here Go that belt. To scoop water to fill fill in the valve if there's like air pocket or something or south pump. I don't know if I shared that, but I when I replaced that um, when I had to replace that pour that out here. When I replaced that valve on the end of that pump. Or the yeah the the end of the I don't even know what you call it whatever when I replaced my bottom valve on that well pump I um I had to pull it all out right and pull the pull the whole hose out or the whole pipe out of the ground um, which is not a problem pulling it out because it's super tall but you know it's the length of the a little bit less than the length of the pump depth so I got to send it all the way up into the trees and stuff. And then anyway, um, what happened was I I had it all set and I, I fixed it, I replaced the thing on there and then I was putting it back in and right at the edge, like right where that 90 thing is, 90 PVC angle there is, whatever, 45, um, I, um, I was trying to bend it a little bit to put the you know slip it into the horizontal part and uh sure enough man sure enough it broke it, the, so i was almost finished and then the pipe snapped right at the bottom of the 90 which meant that <laughs> that the the bottom of the her I'll show you I mean, so I you know I was trying to 
put this thing in here and I bent it too much and what happened was it broke right here and then sent this piece flying down into the well which is the whole you know freaking three meter piece or whatever it is four meters five meters and I was like no and I, I just could hear it go down and because I, I was hearing the water back fill the empty pipe go but then it stopped right there kind of and I was like oh I think it's close so I um I wound up uh, taking my uh, I had to go I had to look in there I couldn't see it so I went upstairs and I got my little headlamp flashlight and I um, you know pointed it down there and I could see where the water was uh, you know the, I could see that the pipe end was just under the level of water that's uh, that was in the shaft so and it was it was reachable that was the thing so um, being that it was reachable I was like oh man I can get it I can get it but you know the, the challenge was or is was I should say um, to try and somehow reach down where the I mean it was reachable but not by human hands so to speak so anyway what I did I went and got my uh, I went and got my trash grabber from the from under the house there and I uh, figured well you know what I can do I can stick this down there and grab it you know so I tried that but what happened was when I would grab the basically it was a, a pipe like this right and I would try to grab it and it would just slip right off and slip right off I mean, no matter you know I was like grabbing it and it was just, I'm, god damn it but then aha uh -huh. I decided I'm gonna, I'm gonna put screws through this thing so it has little claws so that when I put it in there again I can get a grip on it and although it was not the best grip I remember there was that little lip I don't know if you can see that there's a little lip in there so I wanted to try and find go I try and get this below to where I can hit that lip you know give me more traction and sure enough it worked I was able to pull that thing all the way up and grab it and then I was then I just you know held on to it clean it I actually used my grinder to cut it make it flat nice and then glued that other that other 90 back on there and put it in place and then boom it was a done deal but yeah this little grabber man it was pretty good thanks for I made that got that idea but yeah it works man I'm stoked that it works might even leave those screws in there for picking up trash maybe just pick up the trash better yeah whoa I need to put this piece of wood out there in the, on the on the sala but I searched for the last couple of days I do not have a block of teak that I want to use to be able to be a thick one to be able to use for that for underneath there and that's what I wanted but I don't know what are you gonna do I don't know if you can see it over there my, my wife's been at it again the butcher from Compang Pit chopped more of the big tree and then she chopped that whole tree and, but there's like three banana trees that she cut down and then one of those thorn trees you know the ones you're supposed to have to climb up it naked on the way to heaven if you've been a bad person or bound to hell I don't know which one I forget my wife told me that story but all I know is I don't really like cutting trees 
Although I have seen rapid growth from a dead looking tree before, so that's my only, you know, my only, whatever it's called. I, uh, I'm glad about that, so we're confident that, you know, you know I don't like the way it looks right now. Inside of one spring, it'll probably be green again. But I do like the taller ones, like here. You know, this I thought, I shaved, I thought I was tying a rope there to here, to see if I could actually put a swing in this one. I don't know. I do know that I like sitting here doing nothing. I'll probably like looking at this video too. It's still on. Yeah. I like looking at this video when I'm older. I'm already older, 65, but you know, 10 years from now I might not remember. Might have had memory loss, who knows? And I can always go back and look at the videos and go, oh, wow. I mean, I even do that now. I look at the videos every once in a while, not very often at all, but I'll, every once in a while it'll show up on my feed or something, you know, my other, my, my personal feed. And so then I'll click on an old video and I'll watch it or whatever. And I'll, I'm just amazed that I don't remember that stuff. <laughs> like, dang, oh, that's right. I'm gonna have to do a flashbacks in memory. That's probably what it is, you know. One of these days we'll have a flash drive and I can stick that flash drive in the, you know, in the, in just in back of my ear or something and be able to recall that data. I wouldn't mind that, you know, everybody's saying, oh, refuse the digital thing and no digital money and blah, blah, blah. Shut the hell up, man. <laughs> Who cares? I, I want, you know, you know, let me take that back. If you are 20 years old or something like that, 20, 19, yeah, it's kind of more scary probably to see what's going to happen by the time you're 65. But at 65, you know, and you're retired, uh, you are on the downslide of your life. So there's not much really going on. What am I, I'm going to be 75 years old in, in, in 10 years. And, you know, then you're damn old, man. You know, I mean, nobody's stealing my money. You know, the, as a matter of fact, the digital spectrum would make my life easier. I'd, I'd, I'd put that chip, I'll, I'll probably put that chip in my thumb. They'll probably have some kind of rubber thumb or a prosthetic thumb I can wear right now that has my card chip in there where all I have to do is just wave my hand in front of the, uh, you know, in front of the teller or whatever, get my money or pay my food and all that stuff. I mean, if I'm using my phone to use the Q code right now, pay, barcodes pay, then why not just wave my hand over it? I'm not going to wave my phone over it, right? Well, why not just my hand? That to me would be cool. And not, I'm, I wouldn't be worried about that at all. Give me the digital stuff, man. Make my life easier. Whoa. What are you going to take from me? <laughs> my money? <laughs> yeah. You could empty my bank account right now. And I ain't gonna worry about it because my income is coming from my my pension and my social security. So that's always gonna come. I can lose everything right now. That's still gonna come. The ability for someone to use my digital spectrum to take my social security would easily be thwarted by me being able to intercept that at first instance and say, oh yeah, this is me, not that person. Or same with my pension. These things are pretty, pretty much locked in. The only time people are stealing Social Security are when they knew that person and then they, you know, they died or whatever and this and that. But not me, man. I'm in favor of it. Give me all the digital stuff you can. Let me wear that thumb, that thumb guard. As a matter of fact, where's my other one? Here, check this out. That's right. Is that still on? Yeah. So this I bought at, um, from Lazada. I don't think I showed you this, but it goes like this. And this is, uh, you know, it's a light, right? 
so I can like even last night I had to walk back here to turn the light off in there but I wanted to I didn't want to hit nothing way out so I slipped this on real quick turn the light on so I could you know still, still grab stuff or whatever and see it well I'll bet you you could have that chip you have that chip on your hand here or maybe right in there they'll probably make a ring with a chip in it or you're able to wave your ring you know make your ring out of the magnetic stripe hmm. that'd be cool yeah man if you're worried that somebody's gonna steal your money or your your identification <laughs> then then you're in the wrong game probably got your money in the wrong place you can steal all my money in my bank as a matter of fact right now but I have fraud protection so hence I will get my money back and we're the little people you know the bigger guys are out there stealing from each other that's how they make a profit all of us you know retired people and even those nearing retirement I don't think we should be worried about that not at all well that said I think I gotta go take a shower because today I gotta go get copies of my passport and my visa and health exam and letter from immigration that shows I still live here so I can renew my driver's license I have the two-year I'm renewing it for the permanent five-year yeah all right well thanks for watching and keep watching my life here on our Thai farm back at you Shh.